three. We're good. Well, I'm in a hotel room in San Diego, California, and we're about to go to the, the uh, Del Mar County Home Festival, all right? I want to bring this video to you guys just to sum up the whirlwind of what's been going on for the last couple, three weeks here at Incredible Tiny Homes. I wanted to go back home and, and uh, do this video. I've got some information about the communities and all that stuff, but first of all, let me, let me sum up the philosophy of Incredible Tiny Homes and why and what we're doing and where we're going and what gives the energy behind this company. We, I spoke yesterday to some high school students um, that were at the Tiny Home Festival. And when I looked at them, there was like 150 kids, I guess, or more. And I got, I, I, I was so thankful that I had the opportunity to talk to them. But, you know, I looked at them and I, and I said to them, you know, where are you going tonight to sleep? Where are you going to go lay down tonight? And they had their parents, right? Of course, they're going home to their parents. And I said, think about it having that home and how your parents have to have a, a mortgage and they're paying for it. They're both working full time to pay that mortgage. And, and now as they grow up, where are you going to go? Where are you going to make a, a mortgage of five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars? I can't even imagine coming up with that kind of money. And then, so for me, I build tiny homes, right? And I build tiny homes that are $20,000, which I live in one. It's an eight by 16 and everybody says 128 square feet. How are you going to live in it? Well, I live in it. And so does a lot of other people. And then we build a 20 footer. Okay, great. So I do that to give affordable housing. I do that to make money too, because we can make money building them homes. And we built a factory. We can build four or five, six at a time in a day, right? Which is great. But that's what I have seen out there in the tiny home industry, in the tiny home world in the United States is saying, we need affordable housing. Well, I've created affordable housing and we build in the state of Tennessee, which is economical to build. If you do that same thing in here in California, it's not gonna work because the cost of everything is so much more. But we build in Tennessee. We can build them in Tennessee. We can ship them to California cheaper than what they can build them in California, right? Mm. That's our philosophy. <clears throat> So the other thing that came into part is where are we going to put these homes? So of course you guys know I started communities back home. I got the forest, the beach, the prairie, the grove, and then the mountain. The mountain is exclusive, 85 lots that will be sectioned off all by themselves and it's got its own entrance, everything. And then the rest of the mountain is going to be differently done. And we opened it up, it's called Buffalo Creek. Now we have Buffalo Creek and the reason I'm doing all this is because we have to build homes and people have nowhere to put these homes. So we've started communities and we have found that people want to be a part of a community and they want to be together and they want to share each other's burdens and be friends and try to get through the rest of life with friends and not being alone somewhere in an apartment or, or some um, subdivision, right? That you don't know your neighbor. So right now we've got Buffalo Creek. Then we have Abbeville. We were going to do that Newport City Park property. It fell through, but we go to Abbeville, Abbeville, South Carolina. We've done four or five, six videos or more in the last week. Amanda, I spent way, got what, four or five days down there. Only intended to go one day, but everything materialized. Then we have Nevada property. Nevada is in Crystal, Nevada. We purchased the property. It's done and it's paid for. We're ready to go. It's a completely off-grid community that we're building in Nevada. Completely off-grid. So when you buy a house, you have to live off-grid on that property. I fell in love with the desert, and I think it's going to be a beautiful opportunity, and the plans that we have to do there are going to be amazing, right? So a couple things that we're going to restructure. All right, prices, money, homes, and how we're going to make this work. In Buffalo Creek, Buffalo Creek is not the mountain. The mountain is special homes. They're bigger homes. It's a, it's almost like a, I call it kind of a resort elite type of 85 lots that will be living there. Then Buffalo Creek is going to be the rest of the mountain. It's not going to be any less, but it's, a, it's, it's different in the fact of the lots are, are probably going to be maybe a little bit tighter in clusters and it depends on the lay of the land and how that's all going to work. So Buffalo Creek can be acquired, and I've been thinking about how we're going to do Abbeville and how we're going to do Buffalo Creek and how we're going to build homes in Nevada and, and supply all this demand. 
So my, I'm going to open up Buffalo Creek. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to take Buffalo Creek and treat it just like Abbeville. We're going to take it. All we need is that uh, a deposit of $10,000. And if you've applied more than that in the, in, I think there's two or three people that have applied more than that. We're going to apply your deposit towards the cost of your home. So we're going to try to take that $10,000 in Buffalo Creek and open it wide open. Now, the 85 lots that people have bought and paid for inside the first part of the mountain, that's separate. And you guys got a whole separate identity and everything there. Buffalo Creek and the rest of the mountain is going to be completely different. And so if you're interested in the mountain, we are going to open it up as this, the $10,000 deposit, just like we did in Abbeville. We're going to make sure that you guys can get in there. It's going to be treated like an RV park. In the 85 lots, that's more of a... PUD, that they're going to own the lots and they can trade the lots and they're going to be able to be a part of that. This is different. This is to help people get in there. We're finding our, our infrastructure costs are double and triple the 10,000. All right. But how it works is in numbers. If we can get enough people to come on to the mountain property, uh, the uh, um, Buffalo Creek area, and we'll work up and through the terrain, it'll work out in time. There's no two years free rent. You come on in there, it's $300 a month. Why is it three? It's because it costs money to keep that place going. It's mountainous. There's a lot of rain, runoff water, roads are hard, tons of trees, just a lot of upkeep, and it's just $300 a month. There you go. So that's the mountain property. If you want to get into Buffalo Creek, it's 10 plus your house, done. Just like Abbeville, 10 plus your house, done. That's where we're going to go. In the Nevada property, now this is the thing about Nevada. Okay, it's all off-grid. I don't have to put any infrastructure in, right? I was asking do, doing the same plan as 10 for that Nevada property because I wanted to add a water tower. I want to add, I got the pumps in the, in the well, I, the well's in in, but I got to put the pumps and all that stuff in. I'm going to add the IPP and some precautionary energy things like generators and fuel and an IPP as an as you know, incredible portable power unit to help people. We also wanted to... Uh, put some fencing up. We wanted to put, a, you know, our credit boxes. I want to build like a little Western town in the 15 acres that we bought. So I'm going to take those uh, 20 foot and 16 foot in credit boxes. You know how they slope back in the back? We're going to put a Western front and I'm going to stack them. I've been thinking about this. I'm going to stack them all along, put a sidewalk on them, and we're going to have shops in there. And that's, so the, the amount of deposit money that you're going to put in Nevada, even though I don't want to put water power and sewer, I want to take those deposit money and I want to put those in there. I want to help you with your gray water. Gray water has to be dug and channeled to all your plants. Now, it's not edible plants. It's more the trees and shrubs, but you're going to need help putting that in there. We're, that's, the, that's the deposit money that's 